I have a heart attack playing this damn game. Hey guys, I'm the Philosopher and welcome back. We were playing Outlast and, uh, yeah, <laughs> had a bit of a jump scare. Back from the gym, so I got the blood pumping, so I'm ready, hopefully, to uh, tackle whatever's gonna happen here. Um, so let's get on to it. And already my guy is freaking me out and making me nervous. Hopefully there's nobody. Ugh. Take some deep breaths, guy. Come on, calm down. Pause it, man. Breathe, guy. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. Deep, slow breaths. Come on now. I actually like how he does that. That's really cool. That's... This is the little things again. I love it. Alright, let's see. So, the guy was talking about the main room has the controls to unlock the door. I'm not exactly sure where that is. Or what the hell that is? That's oh, a battery. Someone with a battery for me right by the toilet with a hand in it. Okay. And it's completely dark in here. That's lovely. That is. All right. So I guess I'll try to save my battery life for emergencies. Okay, so I'm guessing that big area is probably the main room. Uh, but I don't like these big double doors. Nope. No luck. A205. Creepy looking old dudes. Ugh. I don't like that at all. What was that? Oh my Jesus, do you not even like five minutes into the damn game? Oh. And who are you then? Who are you? <sighs> my heart is pumping already. God, I'm, this is gonna be such a painful game. I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so I have a calling. What the hell are you talking about, guy? Proclaim the gospel. New objectives. Escape the asylum. Access security control. Oh. Notes. I'm inside. Alright. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood. Burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceilings. There's badges. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Murkoff Long Time MO. Murkoff's, oh, Murkoff's Long Time MO has been to profit off of the exploitation of supposed charity, fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. Hmm, well. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy building? Crazy building? Crazy people. Hmm, can read. There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out of here, then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I was... I could still leave the way I came. Go back the way you came. Yeah, so. Now he kind of figures out to leave. I, I don't know what it is with these people, but. Is that me? Oh. Proclaim the gospel. I, I gotta say, this dude flew 
from the second story and landed on this hard floor and he just got back up like a G. Ugh. That's gross. Please don't jump at me or anything creepy. Just stay dead. Bumpers are on. Can I do anything back here? No, no. Oh, what is this? Documents. Yes. The Murkoff Corp. United Office Warrant for Seizure, case number, yeah. In the matter of the seizure, Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Mount Massive Wilderness Area, Country Road 112, Afiat David. Having been made before the Board of Directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, who has reason to believe catastrophic system failure of psychiatric system with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied with the uh, affidavit and testimony established sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. Okay. By acceptance of oh, by acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives by acceptance of this document, you and all surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corp or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS for the circumstances which require their actions regardless of responsibility. Okay. So it looks like there was some sort of seizure that happened here. Uh huh. This could be what he was talking about with all this money corruption type stuff. So where do I grow from here? Where do I go? Where do I grow? Where can I grow from here? I need to find some water, some fertilizer, um, an elevator. I don't know if that'll help me. She, dude, this guy hits. It. Oh shit! Uh, should I go investigate? Yeah, I don't know where to look. I see people like climbing on walls, and I don't know if I should look up, look down. This guy really needs to stop mashing all the buttons, though. Uh, water? Danger sign? Nope, can't go that way. Oh, I bet you I have to go in here. I'm gonna get electrocuted. No? I don't have to go in here yet? Nothing, nothing. Oh. Back upstairs it is. Security camera. I wonder if there's a room where I can check out some of the surveillance. Okay, I probably have to go that way. Down the busted door. That body just moved. That body's moving. The fact that I can't do anything to defend myself this gives you this terrible sense of dread. Like I've played Amnesia before, but I Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh, what? What? Oh. Everything this guy does freaks me out. He like hits the button super hard. He starts scribbling on his pin pad like he's crazy. Ah, oh, goodness. Okay, let's check out what we just, just saw here. The witness. I'm already beat all to hell, picking broken glass out of my scalp. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Couple crap rib, crapped, crapped ribs. 
Cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant, looks like somebody tried to fuck start with his head. <laughs> it looks like someone tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. He throws me through a wall and knocks me unconscious. I wake up and some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. This guy is very creative with his words. <laughs> These are words scrawled in blood. There are words scrawled in blood. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them and for my benefit. What the hell? Are you gonna jump at me too? Okay. No? Who busts down the door and then gently sets it over here? <clears throat> right, as I was saying. Ah, more hands on toilets. Ah, awesome. I'm just gonna peek in there. That's good enough. The fact that I can't defend myself and I must run, especially since I don't know this area very well. I don't know any hiding spots or anything, and they already have made me feel very, uh, uh, very uh, defenseless. And I'd also like to point out the fact that uh, for me, when you're playing a scary game, I mean, it's been a few years since I played a really good scary game. I just haven't gotten into one. But when you're playing a scary game, the point isn't. Or at least for me, the point isn't to try to just be brave and not get scared whatsoever. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay. Let me hold that thought for a second. Somebody is messing with me and I do not like it. Pictures that wall rider guy. As I was saying, I put myself in the shoes of the character, and this is with any game that I'm playing. Um, but particularly with scary games, you know, you want to, oh. you want to put yourself in the feeling of that character. I need the key card, okay, and really feel what they're feeling. You know, again, that goes with any game, but in this particular instance, the feeling is immense fear and dread and helplessness with a hint of curiosity, especially since this guy is obviously a reporter. He wants to find out the truth. What the f- what? What is that? Bam! Slamming all the doors. Like a G. Alright. Yeah, so... Uh, what's the point of playing this game if you're not going to allow yourself to be scared? If you're just... I mean, I'm, I'm sure the story is very interesting, but part of the fact that these developers went through all this trouble is to make you feel scared, so why not actually be scared? If you don't like being scared, obviously, then... Don't play this game, but then you can just watch me play it and laugh at my misfortune. Alright, documents. Let's go. Helen Grant... Gr Granat. Helen Granat? Okay. Uh, subject, wall rider. Okay, I saw that guy again. Wall rider on site inspection. Dear sirs, the full report pending no immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corp. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make all litigation if evident or if evidence is correctly managed impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative 
Project Wallrider remains a dangerous initiative and there will almost certainly be further casualties as with others. However, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to production working models. But a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently... Okay, there's another door over here. Nope. I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing exactly, but, uh, I'm not sure when, sometimes it gets really dark and I don't know if I should turn on my camera or if I should just go ahead and walk through it, but I don't want to miss anything. So I keep flipping it on, uh oh, you guys freaking out, oh god, okay, well, That's the guy I was looking at earlier, he's just sitting there twitching. Oh, what is gonna happen? Ah, uh, there's nowhere to go. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and be a man. I'm gonna be a man! That looks kind of worn out. Why do they do this? Why do you do this? Why do you do this to me? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> a crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Oh, that's comforting. This, uh... What happened to those guys? Dude, if they all just freak out, there's nothing I can do. I do not like this. Gregorian chant going on in the background is not making it any better for me. Oh my god. Shut up. What is this light source? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. In any game I've ever played, when you take something from somewhere that's blinking like a key card then there's no way I'm gonna get all the way back to that security door that security door without somebody attacking me. Okay, inventory key card. Okay, is it something that I got? So I gotta go back to those guys, and I know that's not... There's just no way. There's no way they're gonna make it that easy for me. That dude's still sitting there chilling. Okay, they're still hanging out. Watching that TV. Must be a good station. 
I'm just gonna go into the TV. I'm not gonna interrupt. You guys just keep doing what you're doing. No big deal. Nothing to see here. I don't like that sound that's going on right now. Look, guys, I'm just gonna close this door and let you watch your thing. I can't. Okay. I'm just gonna slam the door really loud. You know, just interrupt the shit out of you. No big deal. This dude's twitching in his wheelchair. Hey, hey, hey. Ah! Oh, shit. Get them oh. out, please. The dungeon is yeah. there. Put the pain, you yeah. I'm out of here. I'm running like a little girl. Oh, <laughs> Ooh. Let me in here. I feel safe in this room. I Oh, they lie. So it was saying that you can actually look behind you while you're running away, which that's a useful tool. Okay, I can hide. Cool. Uh, highlighter. Ooh, what is this? Unlock the main doors. Uh, is there anything else I can do in here? Any guy, do you have anything on you? No? Let's see here. Excuse me, guys. I'm just checking to make sure there's nothing else I can do before I unlock this main door. Because, yeah. Actually, it's getting about time for a new episode. So what I think we're going to do is I'm going to end it right here. Because um, I... I just get a feeling that something's going to happen right here. I'd rather it happen in the next episode rather than... Uh, like having to go over the time but um yeah um i've already gotten scared twice more than i thought i would be like i, I thought i could handle this but it's just i this game is rattling me really bad <laughs> and so I, I definitely want to keep to the uh the time constraints so again um i'm really i'm torn i'm enjoying this game a lot but it's also freaking me out and I play it before I go to bed, so it, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. If I missed anything, if you guys have any suggestions or or any you agree with what I was saying about you know about a scary game and actually or any game where you actually you put yourself in the shoes of that character. You know that's what I love doing. I'd like to know if you guys do the same thing or if it's just you know you you like the gameplay. Uh, this guy's breathing over. That's rude. This guy's breathing over my talking. But um, yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Share with your friends. You know, so you guys can all laugh at me together. Comment down below. And uh, if you want to keep getting updates on when I upload these videos, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But again, I'm the philosopher, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.